Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a free website with Weebly. This also comes with a free subdomain name. There are some limitations, which I'll point out along the way, but let's go ahead and hop on into it if that's something you're interested in learning how to do. So go to weebly.com or use the link in the description below and go to the pricing page and you'll see that there is the option for uh, $0 per month, completely free basic use website hosting. This comes with an SSL certificate, uh, but you will not have unlimited storage. There will be a limit to the storage that you're allowed to have and you cannot connect a custom domain or do any of these other uh, features that they have here for some of the paid plans. Um, as far as e-commerce is concerned, you can look at the differences here, marketing and support. But for a basic landing page or a one page website, this will do the job. So let's go ahead and pick this option. We will select the free option and this is gonna ask us to create an account, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and once you have your account created, you'll be presented with two options. Do you want a business website, which says you can sell things on, you can accept reservations and bookings, connect your Instagram account, stuff like that, or do you want a personal site where you can have blogging functionality and not any type of e-commerce functionality? Uh, we're gonna do the Weebly websites option here on the right, and now you'll be selecting a theme, so you have different categories of themes, a good amount of them. So these are the business themes, these are portfolio themes, personal themes, event themes. Uh, I think what I'm gonna pick for mine is a blog. And in here, I like this fitness theme. So I'm gonna pick this one. And right off the bat, this is, if you, if you could take a preview of it, and if you like what you see, then you can go ahead and start editing it as if it was your own website. So I like this uh, just based on the layout right here on the home page. So what I'm gonna do is click on start editing up here. This is gonna open up this page in your own editor. And at this point you will be editing your site. Uh, but I forgot, you do have to pick a domain name. So um, like I said, you get a free domain name. Uh, you can pick whatever that is. So I'm gonna see if they have Tony flow available so I'll do a search for that and I would it looks like yes the free subdomain name tonyflow.weebly.com is available um, you also can if you upgrade to a professional version a paid version you can pick one of these domains but otherwise you have to do a subdomain for the free plan so we're going to go with the free option down here so I'm going to choose that and it says a setup has been complete for the subdomain and this is our URL. That's perfect, so we'll click done. But at this point, nothing is published yet. We will go through some setup first and then we will eventually publish the website, uh, which we can do up here in the right-hand corner if you wanna jump ahead and see what it looks like, but this is just the editor view right now. So I'm gonna change a couple things here. Um, I'm gonna personalize it for myself. So from a big header at the top, top I'll say like, comment, subscribe, and instead of learn more, I just click here, and this is a good demonstration of how the editor works. Uh, I'll say start here. Okay, I don't want this to uh, be a picture of people lifting weights, so I'll click on this section, and I'll say edit the background, and I wanna replace that image. Now I can upload my own image here, or I can see what other types of images that are available. So um, I don't know, let's see outdoors, if they have any good images for outdoors. And it looks like they have quite a few. So um, this is beautiful, I will pick that. That will be my new background. Um, yeah, I like that. So that's good for the header. Um, I'm gonna change this down here. I am, oh, I have to save first. So we'll save that. Uh, I am not Brooke, I am Tony. And I can type a little bit of a bio about myself right here. Do I have anything scripted for that? No, I'll just keep this for now. But if you wanted to, just so you know it exists, you can change the size of this. Uh, bigger or smaller, depending on your needs. Make it bold, you can change things like the color. Um, if you wanted to add a link to something outside of your site, you can do that here. Let's say we want to link to, like it says for the example, https colon slash slash google.com, and that'll create a hyperlink for that website. Um, but we're not going to do that. I want to change this picture to be a picture of myself. So I'm going to click on this, 
replace the image. And this time I'm gonna upload something from my computer. So I will click on that. And I'm gonna put a picture on my desktop here. Just gotta get it there one second. So I'm gonna upload this picture of me to the Weebly hosting. And when it's done uploading, you'll see that that's what it looks like. But we wanna make this a little bit bigger, uh, modified a little bit so we can edit the image to make it look more like the template. Uh, what I'm gonna to do to do that is crop it. So I'm gonna bring it in to right past my hat and then the back of my hat here. So it's a horizontal, or I'm sorry, a vertical image instead of a horizontal image. And then I wanna mirror it. So instead of me looking to the left, I want myself to look to the right. So that looks much better. Um, we'll go back, we will save that. And now we have a vertically oriented picture with myself looking to the right. Uh, if you wanted to, you can change the text for this button right here. And then we have featured in, um, I don't want this section, so I'm gonna delete this altogether. Uh, I don't want this nutrition section either, either, so I'll delete that as well. Strength delete, cardio delete. And that brings us down to the footer. So this is what our, our home page looks like right now. Uh, on the left-hand side, you have all of these options for different widgets that you can add to your page. So if you wanted to add, let's say, a gallery of pictures, you can just drag that down into your website and fill this up with gallery or photos from uh, that you upload from your local computer. So um, I don't have too many photos right now, so uh, the only one I have is this one of my face again, so I'll upload that just to show you how that works. And now we have one photo in that gallery. And then if you have more, two, three, four, five, they would fill in as necessary. Um, but yeah, there's other widgets down here. You can add a map, a contact form, different types of buttons to go to different places. And you have structure as far as sections. So if, let's see if we add a section. Uh, this can be um, any one of these types of sections. And for each one of these, they have different templates that you can choose. Okay, so if these are the gallery options. These are the contact form options, pre-built so you don't really have to think too much about it. If you have a restaurant, you have those options here as well. Um, stuff like that. So uh, just for the sake of demonstration, we'll pick this one right here, show you how that works. And then same, same as always, if you wanted to change these individual images, you know how to do that by now. Changing the text, click and edit. Uh, the Weebly editor is pretty easy to work with. So you can explore some of these widgets down here. Uh, but like I said, one of the things that I wanna do with my website is to write blog posts. So part of my website is this menu up here and part of the menu is my blog page. So if I wanted to write a blog page, I can come to my pages section up here along the top and go to my blog. And if you wanna add a new blog post, you can click down here in the bottom right hand corner to add a new post. And I'll call my post simply, hello world. And I'll start typing with a text element over here. And I will say, welcome to my blog. This is my very first blog post. Okay. And same thing as the home page, we can drag images onto here to spice it up a little bit. Uh, I don't have any more images on my local computer, so I'll look on here, see if they have like uh, an earth, a picture of the earth to represent hello world. This looks good. Um, so yeah, a simple, small, very small blog post, uh, but that's the op That's the process that you go through to make that. And then when you wanna publish it, you can click on post up here. And it says your post has been added to your blog, but is not live yet. You'll need to publish your site for users to view your blog post, which is a good point. So let me show you how to publish your Weebly website. Like I alluded to earlier, you can click on this publish button up here. It's gonna go ahead and publish your site. And here's our URL, our free subdomain name, tonyflow.weebly.com. Let's click on that and preview the actual website. So here's what it looks like. We got our menu at the top, our header with our words, start here button, and then the elements that we added. So this this random section right here, uh, a little bit of a blurb about me, and then our gallery with just one image in it right here. And if we wanted to go to the blog, we can go click on that, go to our blog, and see our first blog post, read that now, and that's what that looks like. So hopefully that gives you a good idea about what you can do 
for having a free website with a free subdomain name on Weebly. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. I have a whole host of other ways you can host a free website. So check that out as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.